Good afternoon, traders. This is Matthew Bresnahan with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the Chicago Board of Trade with today's edition of the Two Minute Drill. In today's drill, we are going to be looking at the November crude oil contract and the December corn contract. So let's get this clock rolling. And All right. So looking at the price action in crude oil this week, you know, Monday's price action really serves as a good example of what happens when geopolitical risk starts permeating in macro markets, particularly in crude oil. We saw a significant gap higher from Friday into Sunday evening to the trade. And, you know, we did manage to fill the gap today before finding some support near the uh, 32, 38.2% retracement level between, you know, the last six months, major price extremes here. Um, but, you know, seasonally, the winter months are not very friendly to crude oil, but in this instance, uh, geopolitical risk probably plays a much more significant factor. And if we do see any further escalation, it will likely continue to send prices higher. Now, diving into the December corn contract. Now, tomorrow we have the USDA report. And if you look at what's going on lately, you know, we have defended, you know, this new trend line support pretty well here, especially today. We actually tested it and ended up moving higher virtually eliminating yesterday's losses. But you know what we want to look at here is this line down here. This blue line represents the average directional movement indicator. And you know, just as you, we can see price extremes either on the high or low side in, um, you know, in prices, you could see them in momentum of where prices are moving. In this instance, you know, we're seeing the d average directional movement in the market, basically the trading range being the narrowest it's been, you know, in a matter of multiple months. And typically it kind of acts as a quiet before the storm. So if we do get any significant surprises in tomorrow's USDA report, it could spark, um, you know, an explosion higher, modestly, realistically, we continue to move sideways, but, you know, we do seasonally tend to bottom out towards the end of October here where, you know, end usage demand starts to uh, play a more considerable factor as we start nearing uh, end of year holidays and, uh, you know, more demand for foodstuffs. So we did run over a little bit today, uh, clocked in a little over two, two minutes and seven seconds. But thank you for watching and give us a like and follow.